little weaker now, actually a fair amount weaker than it was at this time yesterday. It's gone from 155 to 125 in terms of max winds, but it's still over the warm Gulf Stream. In fact, it's got the warmest waters yet to go over. And so uh, we can't take that and use that as an argument to relax our vigil. Folks along the uh, Carolina coast have to take this one very seriously. Here's what it looks like on our, uh, on our radar uh, for you. And you can see the very well-defined eye. Uh, heavy rains are falling all along the coast now. The strongest winds, though, are very near the center of the storm. And so that obviously is critical as to where that landfall will be. And we think it will be uh, probably in this territory, somewhere uh, north of the North South Carolina border and uh, toward the Outer Banks. And that is the territory, especially the beaches, that will really get quite a storm. But we also have some tremendous waves, even as high as 50 feet offshore. And uh, there will be uh, quite a bit of beach erosion and that kind of thing. Here's our, uh, as far as some inland cities are concerned, and even up to New York City and Boston. Of course, the worst in Boston will come tomorrow night on into Friday, but there'll be enough rain to cause some flooding and enough wind. All of these wind speeds actually enough to cause considerable tree damage and power outages even in the big cities. The worst of the storm, obviously, though, will be right on the coast and right on the beaches. Here's our projected window of movement, and you can see we're expecting it to come on to the North Carolina coast. That would be tomorrow morning and then head northward. Now, when it does hit the coast, it will weaken to some extent, but you can also see on that window of movement we are anticipating over the water here east of Virginia Beach. So as it continues to travel northward toward maybe eastern Long Island or Cape Cod or just offshore there, it may still contain hurricane force winds. But We're going Dr. To be Joe, about once it hits the mid-Atlantic like that, is the water warm enough for it to re-energize? Well, it's not warm enough, David, if you're talking about off Virginia and off uh, nor uh, New Jersey and New York. It's not warm enough to energize a Category 4 hurricane, but it is warm enough to maintain hurricane strength, maybe Category 1 of 70 to 80 miles per hour, and that would be obviously a very significant storm. Dr. Joe Sobel uh, with the very latest on Floyd's movement and the MSNBC Weather Center. Thanks very much.